Hi everybody, welcome back to Rolling Through Life. My name is Wanda. Today I'm going to go over diamond painting storage. Now, if you're brand new to diamond painting, there are several different options of storage that you can use. Um, so I thought I would go over from the very beginner to the ones that's actually addicted to diamond painting, such as I. So, the first thing I did when I first started diamond painting, I actually just used these snack bags. They keep um, everything sealed up and, you know, contained. And then I wrote the number on the outside of the bag. So that way, um, I just kept them separate that way. And then I went and graduated to just going to like Joann's or Hobby Lobby, one of those places. And I got a couple of different sizes of jewelry Ziploc bags. Um, you'll need a couple of sizes because some have a lot. Some, mostly your black and your whites. And then, you know, you got the, some that's got like maybe 50 drills. And you just need a smaller bag. So that's what I went to after the sandwich bags. These worked very well for a long time. But being who I am, <laughs> I, did, I didn't really like this storage. So I wanted to go to something else that was more um, controlled. Because these, the bags get everywhere. You know, you're constantly sorting through the numbers. And when I diamond paint, I like to just grab and go. So, the next storage I went to is these little containers with lids. I got 50 in a box. I don't, I don't want to say, I paid less than $15 for these. They have the screw tops, um, which is great for some people, but with my fine motor skills, it, it was just too much for me. I wind up dumping them. And also, these come in several different sizes. So if you bought a couple boxes, you know, with their very small ones and the largest ones they have, you will be covered on storing your diamond paintings. And you can use like a dry erase marker or something and put the number on there. Or symbol, whichever you choose to use to um, identify the drill that you need to use. So that was my second and I didn't like that so then I went to this little 28 storage unit that was all everything was contained in one box and I like that so it snaps closed very well it's not going to open up on you and they come four in a row and you just store these. Now these will hold, I want to say, about two um, packages of diamond drills in each one. I never really measured it out, but they'll hold a, two or three packages. Um, so you can label them, you know, the same in a row, the way I do it. I label in order the way I want to pull them out, and then in the bottom I put you know the extras so that way everything stays in chronological order or alphabetical whatever but these are great they do snap kind of tight but as you use these for a while this right here area right here it gets looser and they're easy to pop open after a while now they never popped open on me when this lid was closed but when you have four of them connected together and say this one e easily pops open you go to this one to pour it out and this one could lose a couple of drills but they do last for quite a while I think these last me maybe ten diamond paintings before um, there's like a couple I can't use anymore which is frustrating because then I have to go through each uh, little area and then make sure that lid stays closed before I can actually label it just takes much more time than it's worth so I decided to graduate from this storage unit I'm not saying it's a horrible unit I'm just saying it's not the best 
this is great for those that do diamond paintings like once in a while just to calm down you're not addicted to them like I am so the next one and the current one that I'm using is the Darius Elizabeth Ward container I love this system. I don't think I'll graduate to another system. I like how everything is in there. It has a lid that snaps on, and the snap is really good. It does not come loose. And then, I like the way they really thought out the design on these. You, if you had another system like this, you'd probably have to go in there and dig this out, okay? These, they have these little finger grips. You just go in there and pull the one you want out. It's really good. And they snap absolutely great. You have to kind of pull up on this. But it's not going to just open up on its own. It's really locked in there. I like them because if like the first number has a lot of them, the second number doesn't, you can use a smaller one over here. You can actually play play Tetris with this. I mean, I love it. Oops, wrong area. So that's why I like it because when I kit it up, everything goes into one area and then all my blank ones go to the right of me. So this has become my favorite. I have actually three of these because I work on several diamond paintings at one time. I love it. I don't think I'll ever go to another um, storage what um, containers because unlike um, unlike this set, they're all contained very nicely, but they're separate. You can pull one out at a time. You're not pulling out four colors at a time, just the color you need. And then when everything's said and done, you put your lid back on, snap it closed, you're done. Okay. So that's what I do for individual diamond paintings of how I um, store the drills. Now, another thing I have, I like to keep my leftover drills. Because you never know when a, a kit's going to um, short you a few. Then you got to wait on them to send you a few drills. And then sometimes they won't even do that. So you have an unfinished diamond painting. Well, I have this. Any ad additional drills that I have left over, I put in here. I use chalkboard paint down on the side that does not open. I put the DMC number. Most not all but most of your diamond paintings have a DMC number beside the color so when I'm done I put them all in here and extras are stored I can you know it opens very easy I just call them little tic tac containers there's 64 in here these are for my round drills and since I started this, I haven't worked on any squares since I started this um, type of um, storage. But I'm going to have, I have another case for square ones. But as you see, they're all in DMC order. So if I need some, they're easy to find. This, And then I also want to do customs later down the line. And you know how it goes with crafting. If I got my supplies already, that's less that I have to buy when I want to do a custom. So, it looks very pretty underneath all oh, them beautiful colors. So, yeah, that's what I um, say use for my long-term storage. And I did forget one other one um, I wanted to tell you about. But, honestly, I don't recommend this. These came from the Dollar Tree. They came eight to a pack. But the thing I don't like about these, and the only reason I'm mentioning these, because a lot of us do shop at the Dollar Tree. You see these and you're like, well, eight for a dollar is not bad. And you're right. But, yeah, see, 
There, my drills would have been all over the place. It's the only reason I don't like them. Um, but they do snap very tightly together. Um, that's, like I said, it's totally up to you. But for me, I don't like them. They're, it's too tight, especially to get off. And then my drills would be all over the floor. So, you know, it's an option for you. But I'm going to leave a link below for um, all the storage um, containers I have except for the ones at the Dollar Tree. And I hope um, that this was a very informative video for you where you can make the um, choice that's right for you. Um, and if you would like in the future for me to do a video of how I kit up a diamond painting, leave a uh, message down below. and. If it's um, requested highly, I will definitely do it for you. Um, but yeah, any questions about any kind of diamond paintings or what you need extra or whatever, just ask. I will be more than willing to answer for you. Um, pretty soon, a top 10 uh, diamond painting tips will be coming up um, as soon as I finish the list and do all the research I need to do because I'm sure there's more I need to learn. But anyways, if you like these kinds of videos, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit the notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload a video. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, bye.